I document a lot of unboxings. Sometimes they make me happy, but this time I'm confused. Before I start, I just want to say I'm grateful to have a plain clothes power figure. Today we're gonna feature something that I've been waiting for a long long time and to find out why I'm confused, let's start with this psychedelic box that has so much bright colors. Today's episode is more of a I only bring you the truth episode. Cause I'm not really impressed with the box, I know a lot of us are picky with the box, so let's just say this is a really bad box. But before we go into why, this is a Amakuni and Amyami exclusives, also they call it. And the price of this figure is 25,000 whooping yen. And with 25,000, we expect a 25,000 yen treatment, but we are getting a normal corrugated box. Other than the artwork, it's a basic box. Now, I'm just gonna brave it and say I am really disappointed. I don't keep boxes, but this feels really bad. I'll just put up the instructions here for you guys to check it out. Really basic. You can do without the instructions. And I think I'm really mean here and I'm fully aware most figures come like this. But after opening a prize figure looking box, this list box reminds me of a prize figure. Heck, I'm actually even surprised by this half plastic wrap. Bruh, the base is not even the feature. Why no plastic wrap on the hammer? And I'm just being picky because the rest of the figure is wrapped perfectly. So really, I find this close to the price of last week's Taiho. But this is what you really get in the box. So let's just investigate the figure first. Firstly, this comes with shiny eyes. Great addition, of course, to mimic eyeball reflection. But I don't really understand why the pupils are of different height. I don't mind if power is cross eye, but I tried searching for power online and I really don't think she is cross eye by any means. The face is honestly basic and if you haven't noticed, this is the first time we get a more prominent nose. The good thing is her mouth is slightly hollow and Reddit has been fuming because she doesn't have fangs. Well, she has, but it's just really tiny. And I challenge you to position your tongue like her. It feels like a wall in her mouth and it's kind of difficult to perform. The face guard, man, it's really not great. Everything put together, still acceptable. Hair subtly shaded from yellow to dark yellow, not bad. Also, the hair is abundantly sculpted. Well, the hands look natural with some fingernail paints too. Actually, no matter how good the scalp is, the hand can't save how simple the jeans look. They didn't even bother to give it any texture. Even the rib part of jeans look like it's the same layer. Well, it's... I don't know, everything is in one layer. The skin has no skin shade, which is what I like, but some may not like this one. But the shoes are perfect. Well, again, just like the hands, it's not gonna save how bad the jean scalp feel. I give this to them for making a blood stick looking like a blood stick. Probably how vampires like their eyes lolly to be. I think the base really likes. Oop. It's like BAM! The hammer should hit the ground. But we only have tiny debris, not even a blood splatter. I think the blood splatter is done really badly. Yeah, I, I really don't like it. And I'm also having trouble relating blood to red gloss. I'm really sorry about this episode. I may sound negative, but reviewing till here just gives me the price figure vibe. So, I don't know, I paid around 280 USD for this one. Maybe it's because I paid so much. Do I feel happy? I should. But I'm debating whether I should. Will I keep her? Yes, because I gave away almost all my power figures. This is my only one to remember power by. Sounds like a compelling reason? Not really. So, you, should, you be the judge, tell me if I'm wrong. I know I'm a little harsh, or really, really harsh, but this power figure, this is a weak 5 out of 10. I'm sorry, I have to break good news, but not this time. I tried to find something good about the figure, so let's just say I tried, but I really can't find anything that is really outstanding. But we'll be having a really big figure coming up. Looking at the scalp, I'm stoked. Let's just say it's a wedding figure. Do hit the subscribe button because when it arrives, you'll be first to be informed. 
But till then, I really want to say a big thank you to you guys for watching till the end and for the support. Really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and can't wait to bring to you another video soon. Till then, know your figures, love you as much as you love them. But no, this is not Toy Story. Okay, take care. Bye.